face I am using the Belita skin food you can't find this on Amazon I do have it linked in my Amazon store after washing my face this product right here gives me the perfect amount of hydration that I need and also the key to a flawless makeup base is definitely your skin prep you know I have to do my eyebrows first when it comes to my makeup routine if my eyebrows are not done first I just feel like something's wrong so I'm taking this this is the Ulta Beauty um, pencil me personally I do like to give my brows like a more straight look I don't know if you guys can notice or not but my brows do tend to go down tend to go inwards towards like the bridge of my nose I don't like that shape at all and like no matter how much I try to like shave off the bottom piece here it just grows back that way in order for me to get that straight look what I usually do is just fill in the top piece of my brows like really overdraw the top part and clean up the bottom with concealer Go into my concealer. I'm using the e.l.f. concealer and I'm just going to clean it up. For the top part of my brows, I always clean it up with my foundation just because I don't want that highlighted look on the top area. Alright you guys, and that is basically how I lift my brows. As you guys can see, this one is still going downwards. And this one is a lot more straight now. So, yeah, that is basically how I do it. Alright, y'all, so that is pretty much it for the brows. Now, we're gonna move on to face. Silver foundation today, I will be using the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear Foundation. This one is in the shade Coconut number 355. Alright, so for me, I do like to just pump my foundation onto my face. <laughs> Then I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender and blend that out. now is my Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced. This is, I promise you guys, this is like the only high-end product I will be using. Everything else will be drugstore. So this one is in the shade Warm Sand. And I'm just going to apply this under my eye. Then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. concealer to contour. This one is in the shade Rich Chocolate. I have a serious tan, you guys, right now. All of my contour products are looking like my skin complexion. This one, you can barely see. It literally matches my skin's one right now. I have spent way too long in Turks and Caicos. That sun out there is no joke. I know you want to be somebody. Gotta leave somebody. Yes, I'm 
So a little trick that I have been doing lately that's been leaving my makeup looking absolutely flawless and just super smooth. And also this has been really helping me not to crease onto my eyes. So before setting my under eyes, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And also the shade that I'm using, as you guys can see, it's definitely a few shades lighter than my skin complexion. You don't have to go this bright, but because I do like it really bright under eye, I'm going this bright. You're going to go in with your powder puff. You can find these on Amazon. They are linked in my Amazon store as well. And I'm just going to press this into my under eyes. to my foreheads especially the areas where I did apply that concealer then I'm gonna go in with an eyeshadow brush and just apply this all over my lids Powder makes it look really crazy, but I promise you guys, it's not that cakey. So set the rest of my face, I'm also going to be using another Fit Me Powder by Maybelline. This one is in the shade Toffee, and I'm just going to apply this wherever I did not apply any powder. And now with the excess powder that's on the brush, you can just go ahead and dust the way this powder right here. Before I go in and set my under eye with my translucent powder, I do like to go in and contour my face first. And to contour my face, I am using the Black Radiance. This is the True Complexion Palette. And I'm going to be mixing these two shades right here to contour. Also to bring some color back into my face, I like to go into my big fluffy brush and just go back in with this color in the center. Now that my face is coming together, then I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Hey, 
And I'm also gonna use this to clean up my cheekbones. And while we let that set, I'm just gonna go in and do like a mini wing. I'm gonna go in with these lashes that I got on Amazon. So, this is how they look. I'll leave them tagged in my Amazon store as well, just in case you guys wanna try them out. In case I did not record where I was dusting all of that powder away from my face, I basically just took my, um, my foundation brush and just like just literally dust everything off my face. I did not do anything else. Now I'm just adding some highlighter. I'm also adding some on my brow bone and just down the bridge of my nose. So just like that. Then to set my entire face, I'm gonna go in with my one size until dawn modifying spray. So I'm gonna go with a brown lip liner and I'm just gonna outline my lips. Okay, I don't think this looks too brown. I'm going with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This one is in the shade London. And I'm just gonna apply this to the center of my lips. all right you guys so this is pretty much the finished look i hope you guys enjoy this look i had a lot of fun recreating this look for you guys of my favorite go-to looks this is like my everyday clean girl makeup this is like my main go-to look and it is a little updated compared to my last makeup video that i did put out for you guys video thank you guys so much for tuning back in all the products that i did use in today's tutorial will be linked down below in the description box i've been getting so many questions on my snapchat and instagram about my hair which hair this is this and that so if you guys do want a tutorial on this hair comment down below right now and let me know but in the next two or three videos, I will definitely try to get that up for you guys. This is pretty much the finished look. Comment down below let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in. If I did forget to mention anything, check the description box, honestly. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you will not miss any of my uploads. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye! You're watching